Hello, I'm Pam of HealingStars.com. This is the chart. It's set for the new moon on the 17th of March at 13.11. This is for the UK. And I use whole signs as the houses for this example. And hopefully you can all see the really intense energy in this magenta sector of Pisces. Neptune, Moon, Sun, Chiron. So the new moon is right next to Chiron. And this year, Chiron will change sign. It will move into Aries, albeit briefly, and then go retrograde and come back into Pisces. But this is an intense expression. A new moon is always at the seed, a time of seed. And the seed is about compassion, about forgiveness. Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac. And for all you Pisceans out there, you know, I really feel for you because you do feel very, very deeply and sensitively and you pick up maybe what's going on around you, what's in the ether, going into a group and feeling the whole energy of a group. It's called being an empath. And it's very important if you are that sensitive to have ways of protecting yourself, of, of giving yourself some sort of barrier, not barriers in a physical way, but a way of protection. Now, we can also see at this new moon, Venus and Mercury together in Aries. Here they are, Venus and Mercury. And Aries, we're now moving, we're just about next week, we will go into the spring equinox when the sun will change sign into Aries. And that's always a good time of the year. It's, all, it's, a, it's an astrological new year. So it's a very good time to reset your goals or inspirations, aspirations, what you want to achieve, your intentions. Might be a more simpatico word than goal, which is a rather masculine kind of word. Now, Venus and Mercury are joining here. On the day after this new moon, the moon will join Venus. And if you've been watching any of my webinars, you'll know that this has become a real subject of great interest for me. And this is the birth, the rebirth, shall we say, of the goddess. It's the ascent of Venus as an evening star. And when the moon joins Venus, which it does every single month now, it is basically bringing to, that, to the forefront the expression of Venus. Venus and the moon are both feminine planets. There's an awful lot of masculine planets in astrology. And one inspiration one came to me recently of, in my sleep, actually, which is a very symbolic of Pisces, by the way, dreams and sleep are very Piscean, is we can look at astrology from very different lenses. Looking at the full moon, new moon, is looking at the joining or the opposition of the sun and the moon. But if we look through the lens of Venus, the lens of love, and that's a different concept. So I invite you to join me on that journey, that Venus journey. And if you're not already a subscriber, it'd be lovely to meet you in my community, healingstars.com. What's also, this is a very potent new moon in the sense of things changing. Mars, if you look down here, here's Mars in Sagittarius. Mars will have moved overnight by the 18th into Capricorn. Now Mars really likes the sign of Capricorn. It's called exalted. It does its best. It can achieve great things. I always recommend the movie The Gladiator. If you remember that film, I know it came out a long time ago, but The Gladiator is the single fighter. But in the film, Russell Crowe, who's a general, he organises the, the, all the gladiators to fight as one team, one unit. That's Capricorn's energy. So I invite you to bring that energy into your life, starting on Sunday, on the 18th of March. It's about a six-week transit of Mars through a sign, and Mars will, in its journey, meet up with Saturn, here it is, Saturn in Capricorn, but not for a while yet, not until April. But meanwhile, you might, if you're again sensitive to energy, 
you might feel some resistance to going forward because that's what Mar Mars is, the action of I'm driving, I'm moving forward, and Saturn is like the roadblock or, or the anything that blocks you, anything that says no. <laughs> All the ego voices that say, who do you think you are, blah, blah, blah. Now, Mars likes Capricorn, and I want to stress that. Saturn's in its own sign of Capricorn. Therefore, if those two work together, you can achieve a great amount at this time. Think of a weightlifter, all right? Weightlifting, if you've ever done it, you're lifting a heavy weight, but in doing so, you strengthen your muscles. And that is the metaphor for Mars and Saturn combined. Strengthening your muscle, your physical, your ability to say, I can achieve this, I can do this, and Capricorn is the mountain. So to get to the top of the mountain, you need perseverance, you need courage, you need that dedication, you need to want to get to the top of the mountain after all, don't you? So this is a theme I'd like you to feel into at this new moon. Chiron, as I said, is right at the end of Pisces. Chiron is the wounded healer. And in Pisces, it's a feeling, I, I greatly admire the work of Martin Lass and his book on Chiron. I highly recommend him as an author. It's a very, very good book and is definitely based on A Course in Miracles, which I love. And Chiron, he says in Pisces, is a feeling of being forsaken, a feeling of being forsaken by God. And that is the anguish of the Jesus Christ on the cross. Father, Father, why hath thou forsaken me? Now we are, of course, moving this month to Easter, you know, which is that time of the crucifixion, but also the resurrection. And that's a very, very important thing to notice. That Easter isn't about death, it's about rebirth. And that egg, that rebirthing energy. So again, I, I would like you to, to focus on that. The one other thing, it's going to happen very quickly, very soon, Mercury. Now, three times a year, Mercury goes retrograde. And it seems that we've only just had one Mercury retrograde, and here we, come, we have another. Now, Mercury is going to go retrograde in Aries. It goes retrograde on the 23rd of March, so just after the spring equinox. It's virtually the same day, same time. And it's moving backwards, of course. That's what Mercury does. It will be at 16 degrees of Aries when it moves backwards. And it, as it moves backwards, it, of course, joins the sun. But also, what it's going to do is trigger the very degree <laughs> when Venus and the moon join, which is 14 degrees. That's symbolic. It's very symbolic. So this degree... 14 degrees, I'm going back to the Venus-Moon conjunction, okay, is going to be triggered by Mercury three times. The Sun will move over that degree on the 4th of April. Okay, so this is a, a midpoint, right in the middle of Aries, of the pioneer energy, of wanting to do something new and having the courage to do it. And as Mars, as I said, is moving through Capricorn, you do, we all do, have that ability. I see this very strongly being exemplified by the students in the US protesting about the deaths, the shootings of their fellow students in Florida. They're, all, they're saying no. And that's a very clear message of Aries. Aries stands up for itself. It's the first sign of the zodiac. It's all about I am. I am. Standing your ground. Feeling the energy of the warrioress. The warrioress fights for a cause. These students are fighting for a cause. That's where the protest is. And it's not anywhere to do with self-interest. It's about the ability, the, the right, to better go to school in safety and not have to fight for their survival because that's what's happened so many times there. Now, 
the courage of youth, so when Mars is strong, or well, for all of us in youth, can also be whatever our age. And this is where the elder, the elder energy is Capricorn. So with Mars joining into its exalted sign, this is the lawmakers, this is the the people in charge, <laughs> the, the, the governments are Capricorn. And true leadership comes from that place. The king is Leo, but the CEO or the prime minister, you know, whatever, you, any organisation will have some structure and some belief in a higher power. And that's what I believe Capricorn is. So we've got a lot on our plates at this new moon. Enjoy it. <laughs> it always a new moon. Enjoy that dedication to the Pisces energy. In terms of Pisces, a, a very good book I've just put, read, thought rather, by John Wadsworth, I highly recommend it, called Your Zodiac Soul. He explores each sign of the zodiac with very good research he's given us here. And of course, Pisces is the feet. Every sign is governed by part of the brain, every part of the body rather is governed by a sign. So Pisces is the feet, the washing of the feet that in the, the Bible that's what Jesus asked his disciples to do. So that cleansing of the feet and then Aries is the head, opposite end of the body. So that sense of being purified and healing and the forgiveness in order to move forward into the springtime energy of the courage of Aries. I hope you've enjoyed my short introduction into the new moon and I look forward to getting to know you better if you sign up for my newsletters at healingstars.com. Thank you for watching.